Today we're going to try to answer the age-old question of how fast does a sling bullet have to go to go a certain distance. So I'm out here in the hills in a nearby park to try to answer that question. Uh, that, I don't know if you can see it, but that clump of trees out that way is about 240 meters. I can range it after we, if we can actually see where these things land. Uh, and it's it's zero degrees uh, of elevation gain. So let's see how it goes. I've, I've got my radar gun down there. Hopefully the camera can see it. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's try it out. Uh, I've also got three different slings, a seat belt sling, 30 inches, uh, Egyptian sling, about 27, 28 inches, and a Balearic style 24 inch sling. And I've got two bags of rocks. I weighed them out. This one is uh, between 70 and 80 grams, and the other one is between about 45 to uh, 59 grams. So I'm just, just shy of 60. Um, so yeah, we can calculate the energy uh, of the release and try to correlate that to distance. Hopefully, hopefully we can see where these land. Try it out. Okay, I've got a, about a 50 gram rock. Let's show you what they look like. They're all these were from landscape a landscaping company, so they're all pretty nice and smooth, egg shaped. We have some cyclists, so I'm gonna wait. Grand. No. Hopefully this thing picks it up. You gotta angle it at 45. I didn't hear anything. I don't think it picked it up. Try that again with a 50 gram stone. Probably on the high side, 59-ish, 58. Okay. That was shy of the trees. Probably 20 meters. 123 miles an hour if you couldn't see it. Miles per hour. That was 130, that's as high as that thing goes. Uh, I, I don't think it made the trees. Honestly, I can't tell. Probably another 20. <laughs> Last one was 20, this one's 20, I have no idea. Maybe one of these will show up and I'll be able to tell you. I heard it hit. No idea where it hit. Yeah, I have no idea. Topped out 130 again. So 50, that's about 58.3 meters per second, and we're not going 250. So I think I've got a slight headwind, but all right. So that was 124. 
think I know where it hit. Honestly, I'm basing it on sound, not, you know, visual. Yeah, I think it hit about 220. I don't know. I think that's a pretty safe bet, actually. 125-ish miles per hour. With the right release angle, good spin, you go about 220. I think that's that's fair. But we'll try a few more. Ah, my timing's all off. Maybe we'll just try basing it. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the spin helps, but let's try this. That was only 121, so I think the spin does help me get a little bit extra. Like 70 gram rocks. I was hitting like, you know, 25. I think the timing is just slightly different when I get the spin going. I saw that one. Oh, that was like a meter short of the tree. Finally. That one I saw for show. I saw it hit the bank right next to the, or I saw it bounce off the bank right next to that second tree over on the second tree from the left. So let's range that. That was 129 miles per hour. Two forty four and it says minus one degree. That was a seventy gram rock. So I think it, you know they carry better than the fifty gram. Let's try it again. Got two forty five. Yeah, the tree's at two forty five, so the you know, 240, so 240, 240, 129 miles an hour, 240. So yeah, you know, 58 meters per second gets you 240 meter, you know, meters-ish. I, I mean, I have no idea what the angle is, was on that, but it was approximately optimal. So, okay, yeah. So yeah, I would say 220-ish from, if you get, you know, into the, 120 miles per hour range probably maybe I mean you know it really depends on how well you spin the projectile when you release it it's a clean release that one's a good release that one felt good it flew straight uh you know it was good speed on it uh got 245 with a 70 gram projectile 58 meters per second 129 miles per hour yeah okay I, I guess I'll just stop talking okay to know, to know I'm not lying, I moved the camera to the, uh, my tripod to the location I was slinging. Actually, I think my foot was a little, fat, a little further forward. There we go. Okay, so this is where I was slinging. I'm gonna try to get this. Where are we? That's not where we are. There we are. So 246, you can see zero degree. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's zero. So it's probably somewhere in between. So yeah, I'll go see if I can find the stone. Okay, we're gonna go see if we can find it. So hopefully this will fast forward just fine.
There's the tree it's supposedly apparently hit next to. Hopefully I'll find it. I'm gonna turn off the camera, catch my breath. Oh, okay. Guys, I think I found it. I don't know for sure because I found a stone. That's one of the ones I slung, slang, slinged. Uh, hopefully I can find it again. Uh, there it is. So there's the tree and my stone is right down here. I didn't touch it. So there's the stone, this guy. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is one of the 70 gram ones. I'll, I, I'm, I'm positive that's a 70 gram stone. Uh, there's the tree. So I'm about, I'm about 10 meters shy, but I honestly think it rolled down that far. Uh, you know, it hits with, you know, it went pretty high. So it hit the ground pretty hard and, and probably rolled. Um, just given, given, also given how close I, I saw it. But either way, this is still like 235 uh, meters, uh, you know, I was slinging from, uh, uh, this hilltop right here. Um, so, you know, either way, 230, let's see if I can turn this around. Uh, can I do that? Let's turn around here. Uh, so yeah, 235-ish meters for 129 mile an hour throw. Between that and two... 245 not you know that's that's a pretty good error bar so yeah i'm pretty happy with that uh so yeah hope we uh hope you all learned something so i just did a range finder on that and it was 7.6 meters to the tree so minus six meters seven meters so yeah we're still 240 ish or dang close so there we go